Good morning, Sebastian Lacido here, and welcome to 5-Minute Fresh Start. I'm in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, uh, verse 1. It says, it's actually reported that there is sexual immorality among you, and such sexual immorality as is not even named among the Gentiles, that a man has his father's wife. So uh, just the historical context uh, there's a man in the church sleeping with his stepmother. That's uh, Most commentaries believe that. So uh, his father probably remarried, um, and um, uh, the son is having sex with his stepmother. So it's a terrible sin. It's out in the open. But I, for our purposes today, I want to talk to you about how we address sin and how we're so desensitized to it, how we, you know, we overlook it. Uh, because in this particular case, I want to show you what the Holy Spirit tells this congregation. Verse 2, it says, And you are puffed up and have rather not mourned. In other words, you're prideful. You joke about this. You talk about it. You make fun of it. But you should be mourning about it because it's a tragic sin and it shouldn't be in the church. That he who has done this deed might be taken away from among you. In other words, you're puffed up and prideful and making jokes and making fun of it and, and talking about it, but you're not mourning and understanding that thus, this shouldn't be in the church. And, you know, why shouldn't it be in the church? Because this is something that's habitual. It's, it's very obvious. It's not like a sinner walked in the door. This is somebody that's in the church among the people doing this among the people, and the people know about it, and the pastors and the leadership is allowing it. And so Paul, by inspiration of the Spirit, is saying, you're puffed up, you should be mourning. He said, for I indeed, absent in body, but present in spirit, have already judged as though I was present, uh, present. him who has done this deed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, when you are gathered together, along with my spirit, with the power of of our Lord Jesus Christ, deliver such a one to Satan for the destruction of the flesh that his spirit may be saved in the day of, of the Lord. So he's saying, Paul's saying, listen, I've already made a decision and I'm ordering you to do this. You know, take him and deliver him to Satan as a group for the destruction of his flesh that his soul may be saved or his spirit may be saved. What does that mean? That means Turn him over to Satan for Satan to have his way with him so that he might, what, repent and come back. Uh, you know, he might, he might, he has a chance of being saved if we allow Satan to beat up on him and destroy him. And, and so uh, he goes on in verse 6, he says, your glorying is not good. Number, glorifying this is not good. He says, do you not know that a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump? Therefore, purge out the old leaven, that you may be that you may be a new lump, uh, since you truly are unleavened. For indeed, Christ is our Passover and the sacrifice for us all. And so, in this particular chapter, we see that they're they're not sensitive to the sin. I mean, they're looking at it, they're seeing it, and they're they're not they're not vexed by it, they're not mourned by it. You know, that's very similar to what's happening to us in our culture. We watch movies, we watch sitcoms, we watch different things presented to us in different forms of media, and we're not vexed or moved or mourned by sin. A lot of times in movies, we're rooting for, you know, whoever the hero is, whoever the subject matter of the storyline is, and they may be in an adulterous relationship or a fornication relationship or even a gay relationship, and we're not, we're not sensitive to it anymore. We're watching it. We're, we're not moved by it. We don't see it. We read over it. We, we watch through it. We need to become more sensitive to what's going on because being not sensitive to sin means we're not you know, aware of it. And not, be, not being aware of it, we allow darkness to creep into the culture. You know, it's, it's one thing if you see it and you know it and you call it out, right? But it's another thing if we just breeze over it. Anyway, that's our message for today. God bless you guys. Again, share, give, uh, support, and use us, right? Watchersoftruth.com, watchersoftruth.com. God bless you guys and have a great day.